TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. Tim Pelega for PV Power Up. We're going to talk a little bit about inverters and what role they serve in the PV system. They convert the DC power to AC power, that's direct current to alternating current. The panels on the roof or out in a field act like DC batteries when the sun hit them, so they just generate DC power but most residential and commercial installations are connected to the AC system or AC circuits inside the building. So the inverter converts the DC to AC so it can be plugged in or connected to the building. Inverters are very important whether you're hooking up your panels directly to a DC battery bank or into AC system, the inverter gets the maximum amount of power out of the panels. It has MPPT or maximum power point tracking technologies. Different inverters use different types of technologies, but it's critical to get this extra power out of the panels. You can get as much as 50% extra electricity, useful electricity, out of your system, even if you're connecting them directly to DC batteries. So an inverter is very important in maximizing the system. In addition, those are, though there's a lot of complex circuitry that's involved in it, they're very simple technology to understand and install. We're going to be talking about grid-tied inverters. Grid-tied inverters are inverters that are hooked up to the AC system. They should be UL listed, whether they're hooked up to a residential installation or a commercial installation. The UL listing requires that those inverters sense an AC signal. Now here in North America we have 60 hertz or 60 cycle per second electricity. Those inverters sense that cycle automatically and start to create electricity that syncs perfectly with that. In addition, the inverters will turn off by UL listing if there is no AC signal. When you're installing an inverter, you're going to hook the wires from the DC or the panels into the DC side of the inverter. The inverter then senses the AC side at what voltage, if it's a 208, 240, 480, 277 volt, whatever voltage system that is, some inverters sense that automatically, some have a, a switch you may have to change in there, but they all, once configured correctly, will track the AC voltage. Let's, for the sake of argument, say we're hooked up to a 208 volt system. The inverter senses that and it generates electricity, AC electricity, at a slightly higher voltage. So if the system is at 208, the inverter may be producing electricity at 210, a couple volts higher than the AC side. Because it's higher, it pushes that electricity into the building. Because the electricity from the inverter is at a slightly higher voltage than the voltage for the building, it will be used first by the lights and the fans inside the building. If it's not needed in the building, then it will push back through the meter and out onto the grid because, it, once again, it's at a higher voltage. Now, there's a lot going on here, but this is all done automatically, and you won't have to worry about that when you're hooking up the inverter because it senses and regulates that within a window without any extra effort on your part. Residential inverters or small commercial inverters are generally smaller than 7 kW or 7,000 watts. They also tend to be single phase and often can automatically adjust from 208 to 240. That's not always the case, so you want to be sure before you order one to know what voltage you'll be connecting to and if your inverter needs to be specially ordered to meet those requirements. Selectria is a, an example of a high frequency inverter. It has a thin profile, about the size of a typical panel board that you might find in a house or in a commercial installation. SMA inverters are the most common inverters in North America, and they use a standard type transformer in lieu of a high frequency transformer like the Selectria. It makes them a little heavier, and they stick out a little bit further from the wall, but most of these inverters for residential and small commercial installations can be installed inside the building or outside because they're rated to be out in the rain. Most larger commercial inverters are 
three phase. Well, the smaller residential or small commercial inverters tend to be single phase. If you're gonna be hooking to a three phase system, you can use a single phase inverter. Well, you can use three single phase inverters to get a balanced load across all three legs. Or you can go to a single commercial inverter that is three phase. Now there's a lot of different sizes and options to consider when you're selecting a large inverter for a large PV system. So be sure and consult an engineer and electricians to make sure that you've selected a proper inverter for that installation. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovatus Solar, a turnkey integrator and distributor of PV modules, inverters, and all the additional equipment to install a state-of-the-art photovoltaic system. Visit Innovatus Solar at inovateussolar.com to find a dealer, purchase PV equipment, inquire about dealerships, or speak with a salesperson about Innovata Solar's turnkey services, including feasibility studies, engineering, construction, and financing. <music>